Within the coaching environment, you know, we've got an hour with these children and they work really hard. Um, parents want to see that as well. Quite different to a teaching environment where you have a bit more time to question. Without a doubt, questioning is important for consolidating learning and it does come in towards the end of the session. But right from the moment they arrive, we're warming up, we're active, we're moving and we zoom in and we home in on individual children to um, reinforce certain points and ask them questions. But with the much younger ones, we don't necessarily stop the whole group, have a look at this too often because they want to keep busy. We'll reflect and recap on a few things at the end of the session. Hands go up, normally sat in a group, hands go up to, to um, have their answers. And sometimes we have smiley face charts as well. So you might put a statement or a question on the board. Hands up, how many people should think this is a smiley face answer for a positive answer or a sad face for a negative answer? And they like the visuals of that as well. Questioning is a really important strategy and you need to be careful how you use it but in most cases when I'm working with my athletes um, I won't give them an instruction. I will give them a question first of all because I want them from the strategies that I'm using where I'm athlete centred I want them providing me with the information rather than me providing them with the information first. So therefore I will generally ask a question and get a response and a lot of my athletes now are so well trained that I don't even end up asking a question, they just come to me and they actually give me a response first. So it moves away from me actually asking a direct question to where the athlete is at the point they've been training long enough now that they know that a question is coming, so they virtually give an answer before the question arrives. I find that very rarely will I give an explanation first. Um, I'll try and extract something from the athlete first and then my explanation will be perhaps uh, they will have felt something, they mightn't quite understand why it's being caused. I'll then give them an explanation to give, to give them uh, a, a meaning or a reason for the cause of what's occurred in the technique. So therefore, in most cases, the explanation is the last thing. Occasionally, it would be more so that you would do more explaining to a beginning athlete um, than a more experienced athlete. Um, and once again, I find that I'm using that because of the way that I've trained the bulk of my athletes. And most of my athletes now are more mature athletes, I don't have that many beginners. I find questioning uh, my athletes really beneficial either right after an immediate effort or a race where everything is still really fresh so that I can get the most valuable feedback to be able to either change the um, effort for the next time or to even change how the training will be structured over the next week or month or so. So right there in the instance, I find the most beneficial.